Hey guys, I'm over in Spokane, Washington. Actually, Deer Park to be more specific with Rosella and Stephanie today. Hi ladies. Hi, Hello, Hi. Jonathan. Thank you. Another Monday morning update. We were chatting earlier about, well, Rosella, why don't you tell us the story? Why don't you break the topic today? Oh, we were talking about title insurance, just because we have a couple of investors that are looking to buy a property here in Washington, but they don't live here in Washington and they've, you know, purchased properties in other states. And so the topic of title insurance, um, when you're making an offer on a home site unseen from another state, how you're protected is a, even used in our state and um, how it's basically utilized. Is yes. what we were talking about. We were chatting about that. And the purpose of having it. And I told Rosella when we were chatting earlier about a client of mine who purchased a home without title insurance. If you can do so, if, if you're getting a loan from a lender, they're not going to let you do that. Any lender I know is going to require that you get title insurance. However, they did a subject to transaction, which means that they took over the mortgage that was there and they didn't, they decided they didn't need title insurance. So they went into title to the home. They came to me a month or two, or maybe six months later after they did some work to it. And they wanted to refinance the home at that time. And they discovered there was a $35,000 lien that the seller of the home had not disclosed to them, or maybe wasn't even aware of. Yikes that they would have become aware of if they would have purchased title insurance, but they didn't, so they had to deal with $30,000 more cost to that home than they anticipated. And I'm just sitting in the middle making faces because why would you ever buy something without title insurance? Aside from just wanting to shoo, 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 shoo along the process potentially, but man, oh man. For the cost, I think you said for about a $200,000 home loan, title insurance is roughly how much? It depends on the state and area, but, but probably a little more. 500, 700 bucks. I mean, it's so worthwhile. Okay. That's why. At tops, maybe two, a couple thousand dollars depending on your purchase so, price, but okay, hold on. Go for I it. have to make this point. <laughs> People, <laughs> if you're gonna purchase something, it's assurance. For yourself like mm -hmm. you want to make sure that what you're buying is going to hold its value all the above right. you're not going to go marry somebody without like checking it out first obviously it's the same thing don't marry a house buy a house without title insurance you don't know what you're getting well that's a whole other topic stephanie because i suspect a lot of people do the marry thing without really checking yeah it out. i was just going to be yeah. like, i want to know what their success rate is example. no it's not it's a perfect example go look at those numbers <laughs> ridiculous it didn't go well <laughs> no without I'll, doing their due diligence i'll even use myself on the shopping box <laughs> don't do that um so title insurance will protect you you legally don't need it in our state however if you're going to have a loan the lender's going to require it yeah but if you're doing a cash purchase so you, i would say the cash purchase you, probably the only place where you wouldn't you, be legally required you, to you're, you're not, but you're going to want to get it but if you do it without title insurance it's not smart it's kind of like one not. of those things where like we give you the option to go get your property um, inspected. It's not required, but we heavily encourage you to do so. And with title insurance, we're gonna heavily encourage you to do so, or at least, yes. okay, if you don't get the title insurance, at least look at your preliminary title disclosure. Right. That is yep. given to you. That does yep. not cost you anything to review that because that should let you know <laughs> if there's anything potentially on there. Um, we have really great partners. So, that that's the purpose. Exactly. Title. So just like you had the house inspected and just like you're inspecting your future partner, maybe yeah. in marriage, you're inspecting <laughs> title. Actually, your title company is inspecting title for you to make sure that there are no liens out there, no easements that you should be aware of, no environmental hazards know anything that's going to cause a problem with that title and the marketability of the home later on so that's what title insurance is for and if you don't get the title insurance and then something pops up later on it's your responsibility if you do get the title insurance and it has happened that title misses things mm -hmm. but it's an insurance policy and so that thing pops up after you purchased it and it wasn't disclosed to you on the title policy it's insured and they're going to take care of it instead of you so is the buyer in charge of finding their own title insurance, like a home insurance, they have to call around and be like, will you cover me? Or where at in that process is the title insurance picked for the buyer or like who's in charge of making sure that that is Good on Good question. We kind of follow your lead because normally what the real estate agent does is they identify an escrow company and yep. title company and usually national, they have title and escrow under the same roof. They are two separate things. Escrow is separate from title and if, ESCO is that a national title policy company will order title from those well and the lender is the one that orders it because we want to see it it's called there well there's actually a policy for the owner called the owner's title policy and there's a policy for the lender called the lender's title policy that's the one that we require so you you the lender will order it the buyer themselves do not have to find a company or anything like that that is correct okay 
And if the buyer, I guess, would be unrepresented, which again, we don't encourage people to do that, hire a professional like us to help mm -hmm. you with that process, then it would be potentially on that buyer to figure out how yeah. to review title. Sometimes, oftentimes, there's a misconception that the lender will be the leaning partner on that and the lender is not responsible for doing that for you as a buyer either. So it really does help to have someone hired because we have partners in our back pocket to call and get all this information. Mm -hmm. which is great for review or sleeping. So the summary is you're going to sleep a lot better <laughs> if you get title insurance. Do it. Mm -hmm. Worth it. Yes. Okay. Thanks, guys. Thank, Thank you. you. See you next time. See Bye. you. Bye.